Hello, welcome back to Soul Eater Anime Review. This is part three, and this one I'm only covering episodes 29 to 36. Yeah, the, it's only just eight episodes, but these are the last ones that were adapted from the manga. Starting with episode 37 up into 51, it's all original stuff. Let's talk about these eight episodes, which well, here's what they adapt. Episodes 20 and 31 cover up. It's basically the reunion express arc. And the 32, just was well, a standalone episode. And 33, 30, which is a four part, covers the brutal Tempest arc. <sighs> Excuse me. And with these eight episodes, the show covers exactly. Eight chapters. Yeah, eight chapters plus a point five. First, let's talk about episodes twenty nine to thirty one. Yeah, despite the fact this is supposed to be a set arc, it's just three standalone episodes. The first one is just Medusa telling her sister, "Yeah, I'm back and still got stuff to deal with and stuff like that." The second one is just Death the Kid chasing the runaway chest chasing a runaway train. Get some magic tool. He doesn't get it, and that's much it. Third one is just a setup. It's kind of a loose setup for stuff later. Yeah, it's just Medusa seeing Krona again for the first time since, well, the arc which she was which was invited. This is actually the first time that she's actually met up with her child in six episodes. So, not very long, but I think in the manga, it's actually a little bit longer than that. In the manga, it was a good nine chapters. Mm -hmm. Yep, nine chapters. Even though the arc itself is ended with episode 31, the chapter 31, but episode 31 covers exactly two chapters. Yeah, it's adapted from episode chapters 31 32. Yeah, for some strange reason... That sometimes these chapters take up like a good two episodes. <coughs> so sometimes I might adapt a chapter, maybe a chapter and a half or episodes, which keeps a good pace here and there. Mm -hmm. And that's much for that. Thirty-two is well, the third appearance in the series of Excalibur, where you have this character named Hero who only appeared just for this one episode. He is just a guy who. It's kind of bullied to get people sandwiches and drinks. Yeah. Oh, and also, the main cast do pretty much almost not very much. It's a character piece on a standalone character who gets Sword Excalibur. He becomes very cocky. And he eventually just gives up on the sword because he wouldn't stop sneezing. Despite the fact he was able to be qualified to be the wielder of this particular sword due to going through his thousand requests. Yeah. But at least Death the Kid and Blackstar remember this thing. And also, and what does he do with the sword? Let's see. He peeps in the girl's locker room. Yeah, he pops in the girl's locker room and peeps on them. He uses the sword to blow up a couple girls' skirts. One of whom, the character Ox Ford. Yeah, I've heard his name as a play on the actual school in, in the UK, Oxford. And his friend, Harv. And his last name is Vert. His partner, his weapon partner, is is a play on the school in the, in Boston, Harvard. Yep. So yeah, yeah. This character named Kim, who he has a thing for, she is voiced by. I have to look her up here. She is voiced by Caitlin Glass. Yeah, that is her name. She made a debut. Actually, episode 32, which was the, the episode I'm talking about. As for the actress herself, well, she was in Bible. And, let's see. She was Evergreen in Fairy Tale. Mm hmm. Which I think they might bring her back for that. She was Petra Attack on Titan. Let's see. Anything else I've watched that, uh, oh yeah, she's. Baudos in Dragon Ball Super currently. Yeah, so just a few 
who rolls for her, but let's see. Oh yeah, in one piece she plays BB. Yep, she plays BB. And as for Kim herself, she does appear also in the following arc as well. But she does a little bit more in the following arc than she does in her debut episode. Which, in her debut episode, she does nothing. Just, oh yeah, we have this cute girl who Oxford has a thing for. That's really it. It's an odd episode that Brew first kind of big arc, in a way. First time since the, well, the fight, the death one, and every celebration. Yep. First one in quite a while. Yep. Now, the, now this whole arc, pretty much, even though the arc itself is listed as covering chapters 37, 34, 37, but the first episode is adapted from chapter 33 to start out with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just basically the students of the school invading this island to fight against the, the Agamoria, the, the spider group, to get this thing called the brew, which is this the strange cube device. And also, prior to, before they even get there, they have, well, Maka's team, which is this of Maka, Soul, Death the Kid, Patty, Liz, Blackstar, and Shaka, I think her name is. Yeah, these seven people doing soul, practicing soul residence with each other. And at first, they couldn't do it because, well, Blackstar's, e they think it's Blackstar's ego. Turns out, actually, his ego has nothing to do with this. Turns out, it's Maka's fault. And Maka punched Blackstar for being arrogant. And then later on, once after she apologizes, she told Blackstar, hey, I hit you, why don't you hit me? So, Blackstar hits her, and she lands on top of garbage. I think that's a nod to the pilot episode, which the same thing happened. She was dropped off a building, and instead of like going splat, she fell in a dumpster. I have no idea why in the world that that they decided to bring this back up, but it's a nice little gag. I mean, it's something though. Me ended up in garbage. It's just pure hilarity. Mm -hmm. And eventually, they well, when they get to the island, they of course have the wall suits, and it's a big battle brawl between well the students and the the spider people yep and so first they have professor stein and i have to look up her name here she's a one, one voice let's see it is not medusa yeah medusa doesn't she just virtually does nothing uh mary Murray. Yeah, she needs to not go inside and says, wait 20 minutes, and then it will hopefully come out. Yeah, because apparently in this strange tornado field that can live here for 20 minutes, if they be there longer than that, they start getting part of the memory. Eventually, well, Marcus team goes in. They battle Mosquito. They actually do, in fact, woo Mosquito. But they were able to go through the battle with not much of a problem due to the fact that Soul use the black blood to sort of use a special soul residence that involves magic. That involves, no magic. Music. Yep, music. And they were the coordinator attacks really well. And even though they were able to defeat Mosquito, they couldn't kill him. Yeah, they failed to kill him. But interesting battle. Sid, of course, get, gets a, get, get a chance to get to fight the, the samurai, which I thought that was a cool battle. He does get wounded, though, but it's nice. And of course, anyone can tell he is the show's commando. Yeah, because he's a badass. And of course, Maka, he, he later gives Maka the little mini, I'd say a death cell phone to call death to give report. And it's Maka's father who answers. I'm like, is this another call back to the pilot with him just, you know, being creepy, be on the same call with death? Yeah, it's like, seriously, they do this again? It's so bizarre, the fact they do this. Eventually, get a report, and death their stance, of course, that's... And, of course, the arc kind of ends with, well, Erica, Erica Frog, the one who shapes her frog, giving Medusa the real thing. 
Of course, Medusa right now is is a little child. This is this is the version I remember the more than when she's in her adult form. Yeah, I kind of forgot about the adult form. I just more remember the kid one because, well, this is the one who was in prison and had to storm the base. Yeah, which that probably will happen later on. But uh, otherwise, though, that's really it for this particular one. Uh, stay tuned for part four, which will come tomorrow, because I don't think I can cover 15 episodes in one night. Um, that'll be the last video for covering this particular series, but that won't be the end, because there'll be two parts tomorrow. Not only covering the final 15 episodes of the series, but hopefully also the Soul Either Night series. I was hoping to finish the tape, but I was distracted by other things. But definitely tomorrow, so not only will we get another part of Soul Either Get a review for that, but also a review for One Piece. Yep. So yeah. So until I see you in the next episode, bye.